Cool, man. That brings you back into the coolness. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you get the Chrysler Civic or Hybrid. By the way, Ram, Fiat, Chrysler, we're looking for sponsors. Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got a comment on our blog that's on our Crawl Space Ninja site, and it's from Henry, and he wants to know, he's got a really hot attic, and he wants to know what should he do to fix the hot attic and in what order. So what's the most important thing to do and then the least important thing to do? Stay tuned. Hey Henry, that is a great, great question. Now I did my own attic and the reason why I did my own attic was I was tired of paying these high utility bills. I was tired of all the dust. My duct works up in my attic so when it's 130 degrees up there it's making my ducts blow out warm air instead of cold air. And so anyway, it's a great question. I would always start with the easier things, which would be like the attic hatch cover. Okay, so that's that's an easy thing for you to do. Whether you've got a push-up hatch or a pull-down stairs, you can air seal that attic hatch cover. Also, can lights or recess lights. Those are also another place that you should air seal. And I know you mentioned you have a hot attic, but if you have a hot attic, all of that hot air is coming down into your living space. Think about it like this. Hot air rises, correct? So in the winter time, whenever you have on your heat, all that warm air is trying to force its way up into the attic. But in the summer, when you're running your AC, the AC is actually drawing the air down, which is causing that warm air to be pulled into your living space. So it's a good idea to do some of these other things I'm getting ready to mention, but air sealing those two things first is a quick, easy way to help slow down that transfer of air, the recessed lights and the attic hatch. Okay, so if you don't have a ridge vent, recommend you get a ridge vent because if you are going to install radiant barrier or a solar attic fan, you need a ridge vent. One of the other things that's really overlooked in attics is what's called a baffle. Anytime I've ever said, hey, does your attic have baffles? Homeowners are like, what's a baffle? I don't know what a baffle is. Well, a baffle is a piece of styrofoam or cardboard that you shove down in the soffit in order to keep the insulation in the attic from clogging the soffit. Now, one of the big mistakes a lot of contractors do is they will only put a baffle where there's ventilation. So typically you have a, 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 a soffit vent and then you skip a few uh, areas and then you have another soffit vent. So they'll only put a baffle where the soffit vent is, but guess what? If you don't do baffles all the way across, all that blown in insulation is gonna fall into the soffit and clog up the vents from the sides. So make sure you put baffles all around the attic in order to allow that outside air to come up through the soffit and then eventually make its way to the ridge vent. So now there's something else called the convection process, all right? So the bad thing about attic ventilation when you have a ridge and a soffit is normally the air doesn't even start moving until the convection process happens, and I believe that's around 130 degrees. So by the time air starts to actually move, it's 130 degrees up there. So what we installed was our solar attic fan that comes on when the sun hits it, turns off whenever the sun goes down, and also turns off during cold weather. So that way, if you've got a hot attic, that dude kicks on, moves that air as soon as the sun comes up, and all of that ventilation begins to start before the attic even starts to heat up. So those are some of the things that I would do. So number one, I would air seal the attic hatch and the recessed lights. I would also make sure you have baffles installed, get your ridge vent installed, make sure you get that solar attic fan installed near the ridge vent. The solar attic fan needs the ridge vent to properly work, then put your radiant barrier up so that way it's done last. And if you can yank out the insulation and air seal the entire attic floor, that would be a good thing to do as well. My name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja and Basement Ninja. Hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.